Hello, Meredith. Hello, how are you? Welcome for the second time at Lisbon. Thank you, it's yes. great to be back. 20 years after. That's right, I was yeah. here 20 years ago for vacation. Yeah. I loved it then and I love it even more now. It's a wonderful but, place. But I presume that you feel, you know, a lot of evolution going on in Lisbon and in Portugal since that time. Absolutely, you can see it. You can see the construction, you can see the beautiful architecture, you can see the, the vibrant economy in motion. It's great. And don't you think that uh, for us being uh, an Europe country that we have, you know, uh, an anxiety to, you know, to, to show more, to, to face the challenges um, and uh, for you guys in the US it becomes a little bit more um, easier because it's natural, you know, to um, take advantage of that scale, don't you think? Maybe, maybe. I, but it's changing, yeah? Yeah, Lisbon feels like it has an incredible heritage but also a newness to it. Right. So to the degree that it feels like there's something new happening here and you need to uh, prove yourself to the world, I think that's a great thing. I think it's a lot of good energy and it's good for, I would assume, for, yes, for, uh, for business, for tourism, for jobs, I would think. The stories I've seen are very positive, so it's, yes. it's good. Yeah. Uh, don't you think that the digi digital you know, came to really change the way people communicate? Yes, and I think it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Citizen journalism and just social media in general, what a wonderful thing for audiences to be able to participate and share their own stories. That's great. So in terms of somebody who works at a big news organization like CNN, it's also good for CNN yeah. because it helps us engage with our audiences. It helps us listen to our audiences and see and hear what they care about. And it helps us find stories. Right, yeah. so if we know that our audiences care about a particular topic, like uh, the Rohingya crisis, we can listen to that on social and then use that in our news coverage because we can talk to people online, we can find sources online, and we know from, our, from what our audiences are doing online, we know which stories they care about. So it's good for journalism, it's good for people. Now sometimes it can get a little too much Right? We all feel overloaded some days yeah. and social and alerts and all these headlines and this news and cycle is where very is busy. Where is the truth? Yeah, exactly. Where, is, where it belongs, the truth. You that's know? right, that's right. Don't you think that uh, in the change for the future would be, you know, to regular man to, to, to make something um, about the, that kind of truth, the path that we all should do whenever we are, you know, putting something online, telling the news, something like that? Well, this is why I think the job of journalists, right? The job that we're doing now is more important than ever because it is harder than ever as just someone living in the world, looking at these feeds on your mobile screens, on all these devices, to understand what is, what is true and what is false and to understand what the motivations are behind the source. So for something like CNN, for a brand like CNN, that brand matters, and it stands for truth and accuracy. Influence, influence yes, yes, people. yes, yes. So all of those things are very important because they help you cut through the noise and the clutter of a very crowded landscape, right? All these feeds that we get, all of these headlines and alerts and stories, and it's a battle for the attention of audiences, right? So, so this idea that there are certain places, whether it's your show, whether it's CNN, whether it's other brands that audiences trust because they stand for the truth, they know they can trust them and they can find them where it counts. And that's why it's so important to be a journalist. What's interesting about Web Summit is there are some journalists here, but there's a lot of people who are involved in digital and just technology, right? So what's good, is, what good, what's good about coming to Web Summit is to understand and learn more about the technology landscape and what to expect next. And I'm still learning. I don't have all the we answers. Are all to that, right? If you are learning, think about me. I'm, <laughs> I have to learn a lot. Uh, just tell me one thing. Um, uh, isn't it amazing? You know, so ins inspirational. You are inspirational. But uh, all this technology, all of this disruptive uh, communication. Uh, where are you? Uh, where, where do you think we are uh, going next? Because you, you live with that also. Putting you know digital ways of communicating, CNN, um, telling stories in different ways either is for TV, either is for Instagram, the network. Um, where are we going? What are the next changes? What do you think? I don't know, but what I think, what I feel, is that people want simplicity. They don't want more. 
they want higher quality. They want better. Better content. Better content, accurate, creative, um, just truthful. I don't think the secret in terms of journalism or media and entertainment at large is to give audiences more, 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 more. There's only 24 hours in a day. Yes. And isn't it so funny that people say that a lot these days, right? Attention is so hard to get from audiences. So I think it's really important to put good things on the internet. I, I believe in global independent journalism. It's so needed, it's always needed. But this is a very interesting time in the world. It's a critical time. So that gives me energy and drive. And I work around great people. And it's a global organization, so I get to come to places like Lis Lisbon and meet people like you and go yeah. to and see these things, right? Thank you so so much. it's just a wonderful, it's, it's a, it, it gives me a lot of drive and passion. So thank it's you good. so much, uh, Meredith. It was thank you. truly an honor. Good. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.